Greetings. This is John Demokis, aka Half Man Half Cichlid. I want to welcome, welcome my YouTube followers back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, part two, obsessed with nitrates. Uh, the first thing I want to uh, emphasize today is that the nitrogen cycle is extremely important to the health and well-being of our aquarium. And this, the purpose of the series is not to, to make it a nitrate sound less important, but, but to highlight other things within our aquarium system that need to be addressed and uh, dealt with in order to achieve a, quote, uh, pristine aquarium environment. Uh, to that end, let's start with a uh, short or a quick cartoon that uh, I hope you will enjoy. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, quick cartoon. I love cartoons and I plan on using them uh, more frequently to make a point. So the key message is, uh, uh, I mean, fish health, uh, our enjoyment of our aquariums is to a large extent possible uh, to a large extent is based on our ability to duplicate their natural environment to to have nearly to the extent possible pristine water within a glass box and the whole point of the series is it requires focusing on more than uh, than just nitrates and why, and educating us and why we need to focus on more than just nitrates. So let's quickly review some of the key points made in part one of Obsessed with Nitrates and then uh, get into some new material. So a quick review of, of uh, part one, Obsessed with Nitrates, was to make the point that uh, Fish waste products uh, uh, encompass much more than just the products of protein metabolism, of which uh, nitrates are uh, one of the main uh, uh, products, again, of protein metabolism. But we still have these other things we have to worry about that are growth inhibiting metals that include heavy metals and also uh, macronutrients. Again, I'll provide a link to uh, part one, but uh, here's some additional detail on what's included in each of the categories of, uh, let's call them uh, pollutants for the time being, that are uh, a result of fish metabolism. Again, I can't overemphasize the importance of protein metabolism in breaking down proteins, amino acids, ammonia, nitrates, and, and other compounds, the end result of which is, is uh, uh, nitrates. So in summary, achieving pristine water, water that duplicates the natural environment, involves more than just uh, a focus on uh, nitrates and protein metabolism. So I think it's, I hope it's obvious that uh, we have to do more than just provide our aquarium inhabitants a nitrogen cycle in order to deal with, uh, you know, the growth inhibiting substances, the metals and, and the macronutrients, which uh, need to be uh, eliminated or at least dropped to reasonable levels in order to uh, duplicate a natural environment. So is pristine aquarium water possible? Uh, I think we can do a lot better if we have a multi-prong attack. And what I do is uh, I have strategies I use uh, to maximize the impact of the nitrogen cycle, uh, strategies I, I use for uh, uh, water changes, and also very important plants. Uh, plants are very important in consuming 
uh, pollutants between water changes so that you have more pristine water uh, in your aquariums. So anyway, the uh, follow-on uh, editions of this uh, or videos will be about uh, how I optimize each of these three, the nitrogen cycle, the water changes, and uh, utilization of plants in uh, my quest uh, to achieve uh, pristine uh, aquarium water.